Hello everyone and welcome back to Shades of Tech. Today I want to talk about 4K TVs and in particular about OLED 4K TVs. The other day I was walking around my favorite tech shop because I heard that the new 2017 TV Gamma was finally in store. I was so excited to see with my own eyes the new QLED TVs made by Samsung and the new Sony Bravia OLED A1. Because come on, they are freaking awesome. And because so far I only judged the technology without seeing them for real. And by the way, they are so much stunning. Anyway, I saw something really interesting because we all know two things about OLED TVs. That they have wonderful blacks and that they cost like bloody fire. But then I saw last year's model of LG OLED TV. And it was on sale and all my world collapsed. It was the LG TV OLED 4K HDR 55 inch B6V. It was mind blowing because this TV is super cool. It is one of my favorite ones. It has wonderful color gamma. It has everything you need. It's modern day state of the art. It's 4K. It's OLED. It even supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. How many TVs do that? It's 55 inches, that I think is the best screen size to get. It's paper thin and wall mounted is glorious. It has even Arman Cardon audio system, which I have no idea of what it is but it sounds so high end. It has the LG Web OS 3.0, which in my opinion is one of the best TV OS second only to Sony operative system. It's a 2016 model but has the higher standards that you can meet right now and if you plug it with the new Xbox One X it could really make glow your experience with pure and wonderful 4K HDR 60fps games. Until now it was sold for 19.99 euros and I think that 16.99 is still too much but what I saw made me believe much stronger in the possibility that in 2018 we will be able to buy OLED TVs for the price we actually buy 4K and the price gap will be much more reduced. All the 4K market prices have dropped so you can now afford a 40 inch Samsung 4K for around 400 euros. And there are two main reasons for this to happen. Reason number one. LG made OLED TVs since 2014, so if they make new models every year, we will be able to find more and more frequently the model of the previous year, in big sale, because they need to make room for the new models. And what is awesome is that the new models often have just a few tweaks, things that don't really make any difference for the regular tech users, such as the new Arman Cardon audio system, and reason number two, as we saw at this year's CS, almost all of TV manufacturers jumped in the race for OLED, such as Sony with the stunning Bravia A1 or Panasonic with the TX65EZ1000 and Grundig with the GOS979965 and so on. They are all formidable top of the gamma and really have the numbers to steal the stage to LG. Furthermore, Samsung decided to choose a different path with the new QLED TVs, which have an old technology, but that in person deliver images as much convincing as the OLED TVs, with lighter blacks but better color gamma. So LG will have direct and indirect competitors from all the sides and will be forced to lower the prices in order to keep the sales as high as before. In conclusion, I strongly believe that in 2018 we will be able to buy state-of-the-art OLED TVs for reasonable prices. So those were my considerations, tell me in the comments what do you think and if you bought an OLED TV, write me how much you paid it. Be sure to smash the like button and be subscribed to follow all the new tech videos because Tech is better. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!